Hi Vivian, I hope you enjoyed the workshops this morning. Um, I'd just like to ask you to, just to kick off this short interview, what made you choose to create a science-based company? Well, thank you so much for the opportunity and thanks for organising such a great network of conference today. Why I chose to start a scientific company was because I kind of was a biochemist. I was a biochemist turned accidental entrepreneur um, and I had a problem when I was studying science, uh, which I'm trying to tackle now. So can you share with us what that problem is, what you're trying to solve? I'm pretty much trying to solve you finding you con new content without you trying to search for it. So Google is great for search engines and having knowing what keywords to put in it. But actually, why do people read the news? And why do people want to stay on top? And it's, science is very still personalized to some degree. You can't type in, I've got a red rash. You'll come back with, ooh, you might have X, Y, and Z. And so we're trying to solve that discrepancy by bringing, oh, actually, this is because there's a scientific information out there. It's not just the keywords are based on red, ras ra red rashes. Wow, fascinating. And so when you were at school studying science, did you think about where it may lead you in your career? No, definitely not. <laughs> like I said, I accidentally became an entrepreneur. Uh, when I was studying science, I actually wanted to, uh, I thought I wanted a good basis. I knew from a young age I wanted to keep learning and I also wanted to make an impact in the world. And I thought that was kind of why I went down the career of a, you know, science research. Um, and when I got to the PhD level, I realized that science is beautiful and research is great, but I could also make impact by different avenues of science. And entrepreneurship became one of it, which I can actually learn the most very quickly uh, because I have to learn how to read legal documentations, um, speak non-scientific talk, <laughs> uh, not wear a lab coat, <laughs> and see what happens. Um, so I've learned a huge amount, and I feel like right now I'm actually solving a massive problem and therefore indirectly I hope I will fulfill that childhood dream of making an impact in the world one day. Thank you Vivian. Thank you.